Well, hi, good morning. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, so I'm going to go another step with this uh, radio with the apparently defective transformer since uh, the owner wants me to continue and look for a replacement, which I think is a good idea. I don't think it's difficult to find a suitable replacement to run this radio again. Maybe not an exact replacement, but one that's technically the same. So if we're going to do that, then this transformer has to come out. So I might as well pull the transformer out now and in the process test it more thoroughly or more carefully even though I am 99 and 44 100 percent sure there's a shorted turn inside this this uh, unit but you know have I ever been surprised before yes I have <laughs> okay so we'll take a look at the situation here Uh, so, okay, so, well, first things first, the transformer protrudes down into the radio chassis. Um, I don't think that matters at all. Uh, it, it, a lot of transformers have a bottom plate with a hole like this, and then there's a hole in the chassis like this, and the wires come through the hole. But this one, the whole chassis, the whole uh, transformer comes down. That's a large hole up above. That means it's going to be easy to get this transformer out with all these wires intact because the whole time I was thinking I was going to have to pull these stiff wires through a little hole and cut them all off. That's not the case here. I think it might be uh, smart for me to make a wiring diagram. Would that, would that, would that be smart? Why, why, why would that be a smart thing to do? I'm going to have to sort out the new transformer when it comes. It's going to come with three windings, four really if you throw the primary in, so eight wires plus a center tap. Is that what's coming out of here? Nine wires are coming out of here? Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How did I get to ten? Let's try that again. Two, four, six. 8, 9, 10. <laughs> ten. 10 wires. 10 wires. What is this? Something? Uh, how do you get 10 wires coming out of there? That's an interesting question in itself. Oh, okay, I see where 9 come from. It comes from 9. Ninth one is not actually a transformer wire. It's just a wire running from the switch to here. And it's just working its way through these other wires as I counted it. When I, so it's, there's a, the expected 9 wires coming out of there. Um, so uh, there's one wire here I can actually leave that. This one here. If I can get it un, untangled. One by one, I will cut you free. Now these wires are pretty flexible. Wow, they're really flexible. Surprised. if I get this out and it works. Well, it's not a particularly sad situation. Instead of uh, trimming back some of the wire here, they just looped it in and looped up the excess wire when they made this. One, two, three, wires five wires maybe one of these is a ground terminal six eight wires too many wires ok 
Okay, they're all cut free there. Now I've got this last bit here. to the speaker and they've got oh there we are okay no problem <laughs> things looked a little hairy there but they're not okay so this wire goes way up in behind here so these I'm gonna cut short and leave I'm gonna cut these short cut them long cut them long So I believe the transformer is now free. Let's see. A screw, a nut. Oh my gosh, up under there's another screw with a nut. Screw with a nut down under all these wires. Now, like in most radios, you couldn't possibly bend these wires one bit. Hey, they're all out of there. Good. Now, let's see if I can get... Uh, I'm sure I don't have a socket that'll go all that, that far down. Yeah. I'll just try it with a pair of pliers. Actually, you know what? I can do it from the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. taking the whole transformer apart here. Shot, shot it out of there. How come that happen? Let's see. I've ever seen a <laughs> okay, one. One of these. This one down here doesn't have a nut on it. Let's see. Better aim this better this time. Shot out too. <laughs> I don't know where it went. It didn't shoot very hard. There, there. It's just in here. Okay, last one to go is down here. Oh, I 
just need a chicken. Okay, there it is. Get this top plate off and see what's in there. What's the use? So, um, my thinking is it's the high voltage winding in this transformer. Uh, yeah, which one's that? <laughs> I think it's these two. do this. So I'm thinking these are the uh, high, high voltage outside and there's a center tap. It would be this this lone wire here would be the center tap. Possible it's these. Possible it's any one of them. Crying out loud, Jimmy, you didn't make a note. But that's okay. And don't call me Jimmy anymore. Okay, let's see. I think we're going to use the clip-on leads here. Uh, uh, Thousand was it a thousand fifty? I believe is what it was supposed to be. I believe I was measuring uh, was it nine hundred or something or seven fifty. Well, I hope that didn't come over the uh, microphone just now. Well, that's not at all what I expected. So this is probably a different winding. 14, that's the primary. That's the primary. That's the primary winding. Okay, so the uh, high voltage winding. Some of these. <laughs> it's, it's some of these. Yeah, I mean, it was dumb of me not to make a note. But that's okay. So that's pretty close to a thousand, isn't it? You know, the, the way to test this is really to energize it out here. This is really the way to test it. Doing this, I'm going to be guessing. Even if I get measurements that indicate problems, I'll still be making assumptions that I'm doing the test properly, all that kind of stuff. I think it's much better to apply power to this. Since I don't hear anybody arguing with me, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, luckily, I have a way of doing this, of course, that's safer. And I'm not just plugging this straight into the wall. That would not be good. So I would think the no load uh, watt draw on a transformer like this with, with no load on it would be three watts, four watts, something tiny, <clears throat> tiny, tiny, tiny. So it's all about what this guy says here.
There we go. Okay, so we're going to put on the dim lights. These are the dim lights. These should not come on. We should not see these. In fact, I'm going to increase the... Or if you like, uh, I'm going to increase the resistance of the dim light path. So now all the power goes through just this one light. Okay, let's turn it on and see what happens. Okay, that's quite a bit of light. We're 40 volts on this transformer. And it's drawing 7 watts at 40 volts. Okay, I'm going to turn up the power going to it. Okay, it's now drawing 30, almost 32 watts. Okay, it's still not full power. Okay, we'll go full power. Oh my gosh, 100 watts. Okay, shut her off. I, I just can't imagine that that's any less convincing than that. Any less. Does that make sense? What could be more convincing than that? a short somewhere in it, probably in the primary winding. That's typically where a short would happen. That's where the uh, high voltage pressure is. Is there any other hints on here? Call up Inspector 17 and tell him he, he made a mistake. Why this would fail? Well, who knows the exact reason. Wear and tear. Would probably be the only way to put it. So what am I going to do? No question, we're going to try to find a, a transformer that I can stick in here that's going to supply 5 volts for the rectifier, 6.3 with a couple of amps of oomph behind it to heat all these tubes. And uh, 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 let's see, this thing resolves through the power supply into 230 volts DC. So we we'll double, double 230, uh, gives you basically 500. Uh, maybe put a little extra on, 500. 500 volt center tap, maybe up to 600 volts, something like that. Should be enough to make this radio operate again. And uh, that's it. That's that's really all I can do now until I obtain the transformer. Oh well. Hey, thanks for watching.